Hello there, welcome to Don't Forget the Spice. Thanks so much for coming. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I'm going to be showing you my wash day, which is going to include a protein treatment and this wash and go. So if you like it, please stick around. And also I'll put the information for the artist who designed the shower curtain in the description box below, along with all the products and whatnot, so that you can check them out. Also, while you're here, if you like the video, please feel free to hit that like button and also stick around, subscribe. Okay, let's get started. So this is my four week old twist out. It's been a minute since the last wash day, but I ain't got no place to be. I like to start with sections in my hair. It makes it a lot easier because it's a struggle. I usually let it tell me how many sections it wants. Today it wanted three sections, so we just gonna put them in these little elastics. Our handy dandy spray bottle is gonna help us detangle, which is basically most of the hard work. I like to use my tangle teaser. If you don't know, now you know. It is the truth. And this part honestly takes the longest. So basically, I'm just starting from the bottom brushing up and I kind of use sections that are a little bit bigger than I probably should so I usually go on the top layer of the section and then on the bottom layer but you can see it smoothening out and then I like to twist it up so that it does not get caught in the next sections that I end up doing that are near that piece of hair. So I'll twist it and then I'll do a whole section and then put it all together and then keep it going. Okay, we have reached our final section. So we're just gonna tangle tease it out. And then instead of twisting it up, since it's all gonna have to come down anyways, I usually just leave it out and then untwist all of the previously detangled sections. Okay, work it. And she cute. All right, it's a look. Nah, she dirty. And this is how much shedding we accumulated. Healthy detangling. Minimize that breakage. We're gonna section things off with some lovely duckbill clips. I really like these because they're so long. This will be my shampoo bar. I really like shampoo bars. And today we're doing a protein treatment because it's been at least four weeks since the last wash day. Step one is when you're actually applying the protein, make sure to shake well and apply on detangled hair. You can comb it through with a wide tooth comb if it's still liquidy and wet, but remember not to agitate it once it starts drying. Once it dries, it's going to make your hair harder, and if you start trying to manipulate it, then it can cause breakage, and that is the opposite of what we want from a protein treatment. So we're just going to go through section by section, move it in a little haste, and apply our protein, and then we're just going to let that dry. It usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes. It especially helps if you use a dryer. But remember to leave your hair uncovered for this part of the protein treatment process. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, once it's been completely applied to your hair, we wait. And shrinkage does its thing. So step two is the balancing moisturizer. And bam! Next step are L, O, I guess O's. Our C, and since it's a wash and go, our gel. So I start by applying leave-in conditioner all over my head. I will leave the description box full of all the products that I'm using. And I try and get it over the top surface, knowing that I'm going to eventually massage it in, because that's how my hair absorbs the product best. But I pretty much try and get it all around so that I don't have to keep going back to that same jar. So we're going to section these parts off, and I like to work with the back since it's the hardest, so I don't have to worry about it after the first time. And I use a combination of jojoba oil and castor oil. Mix those in and smooth that onto the hair. And don't worry, I work in smaller sections than this. Next, I love this twist defining cream, but as I am, honestly, it gives me life. I mean, it ends my wallet, but gives me life. Next, I use this Wet Line Extreme Gel. Not too much because I'm working in a smaller section, but I like to apply it all around and then apply smaller amounts of it into each individual section. And then I use my trusty Dimmin brush to do the actual curl activating part. And then I always finger rake it through because sometimes the Dimmin brush can be tangled. So we're going to make sure that the Dimmin brings out the definition and we're basically detangling along the way so that our hair isn't way harder to style later on down the road, maybe a week or two from now, depending on when my next wash day is. And then we just keep doing it again and again and again. And you can check off doing your hair and also arm day. I should probably point out that there's about three different textures in my hair, so as I move towards the front, you're going to notice that the curls get a little bit looser. I got about a 4A in the front, 4B around the majority of my head, and then 4C right in the back. It's a trifecta. Okay, so as we move towards the front, I want to slow it down so you can see exactly how the Dimmin brush is bringing out the curls. Always start at the bottom of your hair because you want to avoid breakage. And don't mind my tender headedness, which is me wincing as I get closer to the perimeter of my head. But you just want to go through as many times as you need for it to bring out the beautiful curls beneath. And then you just want to finger rake so that it can detangle with them. Get out! Mm. They should never do that part, but it's actually my favorite now. And there we have it. Just let it dry. And here we have it. Thanks to the beauty of shrinkage, it is now at this length. But this is the result that we got. This is actually the next day. Um, I like to sleep in my satin bonnet and revive some wash and goes with my handheld steamer. So check those out if you need them. Also, Thanks so much for coming, and remember to keep the spice in life.